90.5. Does anybody know why this number gained prominence last year? The plastic waste crisis has gained the attention of Britain's Royal Statistical Society, which has chosen 90.5%. The percentage of plastic that has never been recycled to be its international statistic of last year. To explain this number, I want you to watch this video. Is it alive though? It hasn't moved yet, has it? And it's not a it's not a hook, right? I mean, he can't, no, she can't yeah. get a hook in there. If you could it. Try to, yeah, but then he, we lose maybe the leverage to actually grab it right now. What is it? Oh, poor baby. I'm sorry. Careful, make the, oh, make the dog. No, 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 no. See, see or no? No, say, no, no. Yeah, could you, one of the swaps, the sterile swaps, could you f like put them into the iodine and then we're just gonna try to clean it? Yes, we'll do this in No, but it knows on hook part of it. This Plastic, yes. Plastic, oh? Is it a straw? Don't tell me it's a freaking no. straw. Because it looked but like in Germany we have the, the, like, like, we have those no with the black... With the black stripes, that would. It's freaking. It's a freaking straw up her freaking nostril. That's plastic. That's not bone. Oh god. How many of you watched this video without flinching or waiting for it to get over? This, ladies and gentlemen, is the result of one straw. A straw that was carelessly disposed by us. A straw that ended up in the oceans and eventually caused the pain to the turtle that you witnessed right now. Incidentally, this one straw is part of the problem that I want to solve. A five trillion piece problem that is plaguing us today. The problem of what you throw in the oceans. Hello everybody. My name is Hazik Kazi. I am 12 years old and I alone have a plastic debt of roughly 66 tons and counting. So, in case you're wondering, what is plastic debt? It is the amount of non-plastic which is we humans leave behind on this planet. How many hours today? Raise a fan, please. Indians. All the, sorry. All the Indians. Yeah. According to a study, six tons of plastic is not recycled annually. For the average American, it is even more astounding. 90 tons per person of plastic, which is not recycled annually. Imagine in a lifetime how much plastic is left because of us. When we die, our bodies go back to Mother Earth. But the plastic death is left behind as a legacy for the coming generations. Did you know that by 2050, we will have as much or more plastic than the fish in the ocean in 2050. 
or if you were to take all the plastic from the ocean surface and pile it up, do you know how far a distance it would cover? Take a guess. It would be enough to stack it up from here to the moon and back. Yes. That's one long walk. Or climb. This is one of the many things I learned about plastic pollution. Let a story of a whale. This young whale ended up on the shores of northern Netherlands. The people are surprised to see an unusually bloated stomach and when they opened it, they found, among other things, nine meters of ropes, two hose pipes and over 37 pounds of plastic. Its cause of death? Intestinal blockage. Recently, the presence of water has been confirmed on Mars by scientists and it may mean we dream of making Mars more like Earth while we continue to make Earth more like Mars. With so much happening around us, I felt I had to do something about this. Hence, I came up with an idea of an invention that will help make the oceans a cleaner place. An ocean cleaner called Ervis. Ervis is an intelligent ship which sucks waste from the ocean surface and cleans it. It all started two years ago. I watched some documentaries and the TED talk of Boyan's lad about how he wanted to clean the oceans. A few days later, as I came home from playing football, my mom asked me to wash my hands. And as I went to the sink to get the dirt off, I observed a whirlpool of water going down the drain. An idea came into my mind and I smiled. I drew and created a rough model. A circular ship with saucers attached. A very futuristic design much like the USS Enterprise from Star Trek. Come on, we all love this series, right? This was just the first draft. The propellers weren't automated and it only lasted a full seven seconds in water before coming apart. But there it was. My Elvis, my vision of changing the oceans. While guzzling down innumerable cups of hot chocolate, you know, I'm still a kid. No coffee for me. I did some ex to achieve my vision of it, which is first, to clean the current waste floating in the ocean. Second, to analyze the data from the waste which we collect. And third, to stop it at source which is getting disposed by the ships. I also realized that a circular shape was not and that I had to re redesign my ship to be more hydrodynamic. So, I worked with scientists and designers to 
create a more bleeding edge model. So here's how it works. The ship is essentially a large boat powered by solar and renewable natural gas with compartments and saucers surrounding it. The saucers float on the surface, gravitate to create a whirlpool to pull the waste towards its center, which is then sent through a tube to various chambers in the ship. Before the chambers, we have an infrared sensor which alerts Elvis for marine life. The chambers include oil chamber, which collects waste oil. The next four chambers are for large, medium, small, and micro waste, respectively. Once the waste enters the chambers, Airways analyzes, segregates, and compacts it, and pumps the filtered water back into the oceans, all without harming marine life in the process. In the future, I see myself tackling other ocean problems, like the waste which lies at the bottom of the sea, and the one on beaches. I would also like to do more research on innovative to recycle the waste. Somebody asked me how confident I was about the success of Elvis. As Chris Anderson said, this idea exists and will always remain a part of me. And nobody can take that away. Today, number to you about it, it has become a part of you and I hope it will stay with you. That, my friends, is the success of Airways to me. <laughs> Airways to ship will be my contribution in making the earth a better place. Hope in some way it can inspire you to find your idea which can bring a positive change in the world. Thank you.